in the previous lesson, we went out to the Adobe Exchange and got ourselves a free menu generation system. And in this lesson, we're going to make a menu. Now, to start out, go up to the word File on the pull-down menu and select New and give me a blank HTML document with none over here. You have to put it into something. You should see in your input panel this new tab right here. Now, that tab came about when we downloaded from Adobe Exchange. If you don't see that, it probably means that after you downloaded, you left Dreamweaver open. And I find sometimes in order to get these tabs to come up, you have to close and reopen Dreamweaver. It's no big deal. But if you do that, you should see it. Now, there's only one thing in it, and that's our advanced CSS drop-down menu light. Now, I also found out something else the hard way. If you don't save this document and give it a name before you click this button, it will crash Dreamweaver and you'll have to start all over again. And if you don't understand that was the problem, it's going to keep crashing on you. So we have to save it. File, save. Let's call it main nav. And I guess we could go ahead and stick it inside of our pages, inside our site. Now go ahead and click this button right here. And it should ask you, hopefully not crash, do you want to create a new menu or insert an existing menu? We're creating a brand new menu. Click OK. Now that's where the fun starts. You get a lot of templates to start with. All kinds of things. Drop down areas if you want to use them. Down here you have a premium area. Now the premium area, unfortunately, as you can see, is not available in the light version. And like I said, if you really like this, you might want to go out and invest in it. If not, well, we're just going to use what we have. So let's come back up here, and I'm going to pick this one right here. That's the one we're going to use as our template. So click Apply. Now what we want in here is the names of our buttons. So we're going to come up here and get into Unnamed and start with Home. Click the plus sign, and go into Facilities. Click the plus sign again. Staff. About, gallery, and finally, contact. Now, we do actually have one more thing. We made a form, but if you recall, we didn't really attach it to anything. We don't have any buttons to get to it. There's no way for them to get to the form. I want that as a drop down item underneath contact. So let's click new again and type in forms. Now, See this button right here? With forms selected, click it. That will collapse into a pull down situation, that one right there. Make it perfect. You can do that as many times as you want, as complicated as you want it to be. Let's come up to home. And let's start by giving it a link, obviously. And that would be our index page. Now we can give it a title. If you give it a title, it's going to pop up like a little tooltip window every time you hover over one of these buttons, and I don't want that. So I'm going to leave those blank. Target, though, even though the default is self, I usually put that in just in case something happens. I'm paranoid. Let's go ahead and go to Facilities, and go ahead and give it a link. Of course, that would be in Pages now. And there she is, Target Self, Staff link to staff, just the first page. Target is self, about, okay, target, our gallery. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? It's not really a whole lot going on here, but it does work. It's very powerful. And go into self, two more. Contact. And that's another reason why I try to name my pages the names of what they are. Makes it easy to find them. And last one, I don't think I did the target on that one. We'll come back to it. And this one was forms. I'm going to come back to this one. Yeah, I didn't do that one, did I? No big deal. My bad. Okay, so we've got it all together. Now you have other things that you can do. For example, if you go into Style Editor, 
you'll notice most of the stuff actually is grayed out because it's not available to the light version. So we can't change some of those things. Up here in individual, see it's all grayed out. This stuff is available if you decide to buy it. But even though we're not doing that, even though we're actually creating something rather simple, it is free. I think it's pretty powerful for something that's free. We can come down here and look at it. You can see it does work. And if we're happy with what we see, click OK. Now we have to save it because it's going to create CSS to make it work. So we could leave the name, I suppose, the same. But I want to put it into its own folder. So I'm going to go back into Child Care 12 right here. Click the New Folder button over here. Mac or Windows has that. And let's just call this Main Menu. Create. Make sure it's selected, which it will be. And then click Save. Okay, now it doesn't look all that great right there. You have to go live to see it. Now check this out. It's actually not that bad. Nice little system for free. Now let's go ahead and close this out. Go ahead and save it. So we have a menu system. It is not part of a library item, but we need to bring it into our templates so everything will work that way. And that's what we're going to do in the next lesson.